Ego Sewa Guego, Sarah Yungit. I'm a first year student at the Ungo Ehunwe Midwise Collective Apprenticeship Program, and I'm going to show you how I make beaded corn cob keychain. So I just have some tacky glue. Okay, so this is the front, this is the back, and I'm gonna put it in about here. You don't want it right at the top, you want it down a little bit more. So I'm gonna put it through here. And we'll see if I pick the right size beads. So I got size six beads. You wanna fill this to here and then stop and then count how many you have on because that's the amount you're going to need for each row Yeah, 18 seems about right. And I'll just go back through the bottom here. Make sure you come all the way, go all the way through. Come up this end. And then I'll put 18 on here, this side. Make sure that one's pulled tight. And I'll go through and I'll come out on the side of it. So either side. And the other thing I noticed that I did a lot was um, when I put the needle through, it wasn't straight. I was going up or down. So make sure your needle's going in straight. There's my third row. I'll just keep going and try to make sure that they all end at the same uh, here and they all begin at the same and try to get, keep my numbers at 18. So I'm at this part and I want to, I don't want to go straight across because that one's there. So I'm going to push it in so it's going to come out over here more. So I pushed it in the first layer, and the second layer I want it in the center of these guys. Oh, that's way off. Sorry. 
I want it, yep, just about there. Okay, so I just put in nine rows. I was gonna put in 10, but it would be too tight and it would fall in. So I want my thread on this side. So I'm going to go up through here. Get to the top. I'm gonna start wrapping them. So I'll start by going through the first bead that from the first one that I started, which was right at the crease here. And then I'm just going to go around the top row, try to line them up, go around the top row. This one's a little bit shorter, I don't know why. Probably because it's a bigger bead. And it will even up as you get further along, but right now it looks like a big mess. And then I'm at the first one again. I'll take my needle, I'll go through it, go down to the next row, and I'll continue this process till I get to the bottom. Second one, second one. So you just gotta remember you're on the second row. After a while, you'll just see the string. It will all line up. From the beginning, I see my string there. Plus the edge. I wasn't recording. So I'm feeding my, so I put three, I put four in the middle and then three on each side. And now I'm just pushing my needle all the way up to the top. Okay, so I put my thread at the back. Now I'm gonna use my keychain. And I'm going to put it here and put a few stitches in. So I grab this strap to tie it and I find it's too big so I'm going to make it a little bit narrower so it's easier to tie. And I didn't cut my sinew yet so I'm going to use that to wrap it to hold the tie. This side up. like that and then I'll put a stitch in here so I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna come out right here It's gonna hold my little knot. Then I'm going to pull up my my straps, and I'm gonna wrap this around a couple of times, go through it, and then knot it. And here's your beaded corn. Now we're for watching on a 